my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Erin. I am a registered respiratory therapist and I am working my first new grad job. Seriously, just trying to figure all this crazy stuff out. I thought school was difficult, but this new grad life, let me tell you, let me tell you, being a new grad RT is totally different than being in school. So if you are also a new grad RT or you're a student or a first time mom or you just want to watch in and all the chaos, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of our family. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I take to work with me in my work backpack. This is the backpack. I don't remember the brand. I just remember I got it off of Amazon and I was kind of skeptical about it. I thought it would be really huge and it is the perfect size. If you know me and you've seen videos of mine before, you know I have a new bag all the time. But this one, I have had it for months and I can tell you I'm not changing anytime soon. And if this bag just so happens to break, I'm gonna buy the same exact bag because I just love this bag so much. So again, I got this bag off of Amazon and anything that I mentioned in this video, if I can find it, I will link it in the description below in case you are interested as well. So starting out, let's look at the outside of the bag. You see that it's got two side pockets for water bottles. This side holds my umbrella, which I keep with me all the time and never comes out unless I'm actually using it. And this side, I hold my hydro flask. I have a 32 ounce hydro flask and it holds it perfectly fine. It fits perfect. I don't have to struggle to get it in there. And this little strap also kind of helps keep it uh, steady. For like if you had a 40 ounce, I have a 40 ounce hydro flask. I haven't tried to put it in this pocket, but if you have like a taller bottle and you're worried about it tipping out the top, this works wonders for keeping it steady in there. I'm not gonna try to hold this up because I don't know if you can tell, my arms are kind of shaking because it's kind of heavy. I have a lot of stuff in here. So I'll hold it up to kind of show you like what I'm talking about. But as far as like actually like holding it in the air, I'm not gonna do that, I'm sorry. I don't have the upper arm strength for that. So that's it for the side pockets. Now it does have these two front pockets here. It's got a mesh one and then a small one. We'll start out in the mesh one. Oh, and these little keychains right here came with it, so I just left them on there. So in this mesh pocket, I have a lot of things. Actually, let me just let me just show you what it looks like. So, as you can tell, I keep a lot of stuff in here. And this is what it looks like. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is a tiny little lung. A couple of uh, friends and I have this. We went to school together and we now work together and all four of us have our own little lung. I'm not entirely sure if this is the view that you started with, but this is the view that you have now. So taking everything out of this very densely packed pocket, starting with nothing in particular, just actually, hang on. Let me pull everything out here at one time. Let me see if I can grab all of it at one time. This is all of it. Mostly consists of pens and markers. So yeah pens and markers. Most abundant thing I have in that pocket, just pens and markers. The only one that has any kind of significance is this pen. Um, it's a fine tip marker, fine tip marker. And the reason that I'm pointing this out is because I have a notebook that it came with and it's in another pocket and I'll show you a little bit later, but this is the pen that it came with. So I mostly just use the pens to write down vitals and notes, of course. I use the Sharpie markers for just anything else that I need to write on, like a nebulizer cup or whatever. And then I have dry erase markers for writing my name on the nurse's station um, dry erase board and my phone number so that they can get in contact with me. In this pocket, I also have this little magnetic light. I got the green one and I didn't realize whenever I got it that the light, like the third little light, I don't even know if you can tell, but it's green. And I mean, it doesn't necessarily bother me. I just didn't know it would be green, but I'm assuming that the other color, the other colors they have available, um, the extra little light will be the same color as the device. I don't know, but it's magnetic and it just hooks up to your 
scrub top like that and if it's dark you could just push the button and then so that you don't have to like turn on the overhead light in your patient's room and blind them. I have used this a few times and I also have a little light attached to my um, badge rule that I use and I don't have my badge in here. It's in my car and I don't feel like going to get it but I have a badge obviously that I keep my um, hospital badge on. I'm just not going to show you because I don't have it and I don't feel like going to get it. So just trust me I have one. The last few things I have in this pocket are an oxygen key. You are going to need this. The hospital provides some but they're just like the little plastic ones and I break those all the time so I just got this metal one like it's really heavy and it was like eight dollars on Amazon. Again I'll link it down below. I keep this all the time and I use it frequently especially for CT trips or MRI trips, mainly just CT trips because we go to CT a lot on night shift. I also have a few blunt tip needles because um, for drawing ABGs out of A-lines or drawing up muco mist, if you can't find one of these, then I always have one in my bag. There have been times where I have needed a blunt tip and I couldn't find one and I had to get one out of my bag. So next time I find a few, I'm going to stock up because I use blunt tips quite often. I also have a pair of hemostats. These I did not buy. Um, I was gifted these by um, one of my coworkers. What I use these for is if I'm in the ICU and a person is on a high peep, say like a peep of eight or above, and you need to do like a circuit change out or you need to do something where you're gonna disconnect them really quickly, you can clamp their ET tube with this that way, whenever you go to disconnect them, they won't lose all of that peep and all of that recruitment. So these come in great handy in the ICU. I also have trauma shears. I got these mainly for cutting up corrugated tubing, like if I need to put a water trap in or set up a T-piece or something like that. The last two things I have in this pocket are just these. This is a duo neb pack and this is an albuterol pack it doesn't have any medicine in there they've already been open and used i only have these just in case i have a med and don't have a way to scan it i keep these just for the sole purpose of having this so that i can scan it Let's see if i can fit everything back in here oh, oh. ha fit all right so the next pocket is this pocket right here. This just has some miscellaneous stuff in it. I also keep my wallet in here, but again, I don't have my wallet in here and I don't feel like going to get it. So just trust me, I keep my wallet in this pocket. I'm just gonna do, like I'm just gonna show you what this pocket looks like because this pocket stays a hot mess. Like, look at this. Like, look at this. There's just, there's a lot going on in this pocket here. Like it's just, this is the pocket where I tend to like dump a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see. And I have not cleaned this bag out. Like this is, this is how I take my bag to work every day. I haven't cleaned it out to look aesthetic or anything for this video. I, this, I mean, this is just, this is it. This is me in the messy disheveled state that I'm in 98% of the time. This is a prime example, this pocket alone. AirPods listen to these daily basis necessity iPhone charger you know slow for those slow nights on the floor where you're not doing much and you need to charge your phone because you've used most of the battery necessity why are these wet oh that's why my Clorox wipes are leaking I guess it's time to take those out, but I had Clorox wipes for disinfecting purposes, but I have not used them because I mostly, like what I would use these for is wiping down the tables and stuff in the break room and um, like at the desk at the nurse station when I go to chart, but they have purple wipes up there and I mostly use the purple wipes. So these have only been used like twice. So since they're leaking, I'm not gonna use those anymore. I also have this tiny Lysol, and what I use this for is before I get in my car, I'll spray like my shoes with it, just to kinda get all the nasty germs off my shoes because I really don't wanna take that home. So I just have this tiny travel size Lysol for that. 
This is the charger for that, um, that little light that I showed you, that green light. So I keep that in my bag as well. Ibuprofen and Tylenol for those times where you have a really bad headache. So I have surgical gloves in here. I don't really remember why I have surgical gloves in here, but I, I mean, I'm leaving them in there. I'm not gonna take them out. These are a size six. Yeah, I don't remember why I have those in there, but I'm gonna leave them in there. So this here, this is called, what is this actually called? AG cup fill. Pretty much it's just to check the pressure in the ET cuff or in the, um, the trait cuff. You press that little button there on the end and instead of like the cuffalator gives you like a dial, this gives you an actual number so it's easier to read and they're disposable and it's a lot less intimidating to break than the cuffalator because the cuffalator is really freaking expensive and it's also very fragile. Let's see what else I have in here. I have, oh, an actual albuterol just in case I need it. I was told to keep this in my bag. So yes, there is an actual albuterol med in there. Keep this just in case. Now these here are just ABG results. I have no idea why I have them, but there's no patient identifiers on here at all. They would be here at the top, but I ripped them off. These are just some ABG results from patients I've had. I think I either kept them so that I could remember to chart on them, and then whenever emptying my pockets, I just kind of threw them in here. But I mean, ooh, ooh, look at these. These results are beautiful. I mean, I have no idea what any of the electrolyte stuff down here means, but like, look at that oxygen, oxygenation. Wow. I mean, the PO2 is a tiny bit low, but like, wow. Can't get any more beautiful than that, can you? Especially for a unit patient, because that person was in the ICU. Whoa. And I think they were on a ventilator as well, so I was doing amazing that night, apparently. So, let's see, the last couple of things I have in this pocket are, this is an adapter for um, oxygen tubing, and this is a Christmas tree. You never know when you're gonna need these. These, if you have extras of anything, make it this, make it a Christmas tree. I cannot tell you how many times I've needed one of these and could not find one and had it in my bag. I need a refill. I feel like this video is kind of all over the place. I didn't really prepare very well, but I mean, honestly, I didn't really prepare at all. Because like I said, everything in here is just, it's just what I keep in here. All right, so let me put all my stuff back. I, I think I'm gonna throw these away. I don't need, I don't need the AVG results anymore. I feel like Mary Poppins just shoving everything back up in here. And it's just this one pocket. Just this one pocket. All right, so for the last pocket, the big mamma jamma up here where I keep the majority of my stuff, um, I would, So again, I'll pull the camera down and show you what the inside of this bag looks like as soon as I open it up. So this is what it looks like. There's the main pocket here. It's got a couple of like little side mini pockets. Why is it not focusing? There we go. Like a little side pieces, I guess, for putting like pins and stuff if you were to use this for school. And then it's got this separated piece right here that would be, it's cushioned, so it would be for a laptop. And then it's got zipper right here. I thought it had a zipper up front, but it doesn't. So yeah, this is what that looks like. Don't come at me for this. I had a long night the other night. Do not come at me for putting this in, just in the bag. Don't come at me, because I know. I feel really guilty anytime I put my stethoscope in there just in the bag. And, but I mean, I continue to do it. So if I have like a rough night and I don't feel like putting it back in my um, stethoscope case, I just, I just throw it in the bag. This is the Lippmann Cardiology 4. I've had this since the beginning of RT school and I love it and I have had no problems out of it. It is not cracking and not breaking. 
especially because I have this um, stethoscope scrunchie on it. If you put your stethoscope on uh, your neck, like around your neck, the oils from your neck can cause the tubing to crack and that's not good, especially because you pay good money for these. So I would highly suggest either keeping it in a pocket or getting something similar to this. I got this off of Etsy to put around your stethoscope to protect the tubing. I don't know why I had a hard time saying that, but I did. I don't know if you could tell that I struggled, but your girl struggled. I also have this. I got this from Etsy as well. This little charm. Why is this not, why is this not focusing? Come on now. Focus, there we go. This little stethoscope charm. I got it off of Etsy just so that I always know it's mine. And I got that before I got the stethoscope scrunchie. Um, but really it's just to pre prevent anybody from accidentally taking it, especially in school. I had one while I was in school too and it said student RT on it. But after I passed the CSE, I put, um, I got a new one with RRT on it. Just like I said, to protect, protect your stethoscope from getting stolen because that would be very tragic. I would be very sad if somebody stole my stethoscope. Speaking of CSE, I have, just to go off uh, like a little sidetrack here, I have a study guide that I made for the CSE. If you're interested, I will leave a link below. It is completely free, totally and utterly free. I'm not charging for it. It's just a little PDF document I made of, um, the study guide that I used to study for the CSE and I passed the first time. It's only decision making, it's not information gathering, and the main reason I made it only um, decision making is because that's what I struggled with like while I was studying and I would have made information gathering as part of it but I didn't plan on like uploading it. I just did it after I made like a video of how I passed the TMC and the CSE. So it's decision making and it's got little notes on the side that I hand wrote and if you can't read them you know DM me, DM me on Instagram and I will crack the code because my handwriting can be a hot mess sometimes. Okay back on track this is the next thing it's my pulse socks. It I don't necessarily like this but it's got where is it I don't even know it's in here somewhere it's got a little lanyard that attaches to this. I haven't been keeping it on the lanyard because I wear sweatshirts because it started to get cold and I just keep it in my pocket, but it is my, um, it's just my pole socks. Let me see what my, my set is right now. 99% heart rate 90, 93, 94. Good God. I have no idea why my pulse is so high. I'm not nervous. I guess my back kind of hurts. Anyway, let's let's stay on track here. So the next thing I have in the bag is this little feminine um, supply pouch here. I've got you know feminine products in here, um, a toothbrush, mouthwash, band aids, whoop, hair ties, bobby pins. You know, just extra little toiletries. I also have these. These are pink grapefruit oil cleansing towelettes. These are basically just like little face wipes because my face gets so oily. It gets so oily. And that's part of the reason my complexion stays terrible is because my skin just gets really oily and these help. This is my stethoscope case. There is nothing currently in here. Um, because I'm a bad RT and I put my stethoscope in my bag. I'm sorry. I will try to do better, I promise. Oh! Ooh, I've got other stuff down here. <gasps> Goodies! I didn't know I had those in there. <laughs> These are going in my, um, Hot Mess Express pocket. We love extra Christmas trees. We love extra Christmas trees. So in the part of the big pocket that has, like, the little pin slots i just keep this this is a saline flush nothing special um i had this 
for something. I don't remember what I had this for, but I'm keeping it because why not? I am a hoarder. Uh, in the laptop pouch that's, you know, the padded one, I keep a few things. Um, I have this book. It's called Buried Alive. I am into historical kind of like nonfiction, weird, you know, topics. So this is a, the book that I'm currently reading. Totally recommend it. Um, this is just just a note card that I found. It's got no patient identifiers on it, so it's totally fine for you to see. It's not like I'm breaking any HIPAA laws, but um, this is just something that I found on a desk and I decided to use it as a bookmark. I made this in school. It's just a little notebook with um, the little uh, squares. I don't even know, like remember what you would call it, but just so that I could write like patient notes in it. And I've used it a couple of times since I've started working, but not too many times, but I don't want to take it out of my bag. Um, I just like writing on the little squares. That's why I have this kind of notebook instead of just like a regular notebook. And then this is that notebook that I was telling you about that came with that pen. Um, this is called a Pocket Buddy, and I got this off of Etsy. I'll link the shop down in the description. Um, this was a pretty pricey book, but it comes like it's completely um, reusable and it comes with a whole bunch of stuff and I mainly got it because it's got places for you to write your ventilated patients notes down and for the most part everything we chart is everything that she listed. So I keep this. I've used it a few times. Comes in great handy. Again, I'll link her shop in the description. It's not a cheap book but because of the fact that it is reusable and she has so many different cute patterns, I totally recommend this book. So let's see, oh, here's the lanyard. It just hooks on like that. There's a lanyard. So in the very last pouch, it's just this little zipper pocket that's in the back of the main pocket. I have a deodorant and yes, that is, this is the men's deodorant because men's deodorant works better for me. I don't know if I'm just a stinky individual or what. I like men's deodorant better. This is some dry shampoo because again with my oily skin my hair gets really oily as well. And then fragrance free lotion from Bath and Body Works. I think that yeah that's it. This That's it's everything I keep in my bag. Um not too interesting. I mean the the most exciting thing to me was this honey bun because like I have a snack for later tonight and I didn't even know I had it. So that makes me very happy. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was kind of like a hot mess, but again, if you know me, I live in a constant state of hot mess. So, hi. Everything that I mentioned that I can find, I will link it down in the description box below in case you are interested interested as well and I will also link the link to my um my CSE study guide that I was talking about again completely free you don't have to pay for it but just go on download if you have any problems you can DM me on Instagram I will help you as much as I can thank you again so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed Turn on the notification bell so you know anytime I upload a video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!